Uh, let's see here. So first things first, um, what I've got here is a relay switch. Um, it's just, you can see it on the sides of it. Sides of it. It's uh, JZ, let me see if I can get that to focus. It's a JZ C11F uh, relay switch. You can get these from SparkFun or wherever. Basically what I've got here is two lights wired onto my switch and uh, I've got an Arduino Mega powering it. And then here's my code. Basically, I'm just setting pin 11, if I move my cursor here, to be an output, and I'm just doing high, low. So digital right high, digital right low every second. And the way I've configured this, I've got pin 11 coming from the Arduino into the bottom of the relay. The bottom two pins are the coil. Uh, so it doesn't matter which direction you wire up the coil. Basically, all you want is a voltage source, a positive voltage source on one side and a ground on the other of the coil. And once voltage starts flowing through the relay, uh, it basically acts like a big magnet in there, switching a little tiny physical switch which opens up or closes uh, connections for you. So uh, you can see on the on the top of my relay here, um, if you look at the LED that's pointing to the side, you'll see, uh, or pointing to the top of the video rather, that is my coil side. So I've got my blue wire coming from pin 11 to one side of the coil, and on the other side, I've got ground uh, coming, you know, going to ground on the Arduino. And then I've got an LED wired up as a diode in between the coil. This is just to dissipate any energy once, basically once the coil uh, throws off energy, it's going to try to store it and it has to go somewhere. So you put a diode uh, in parallel with the coil to dissipate any energy and uh, keep your Arduino safe. So the other parts of this, we've got ground connecting to... Uh, the ground end of another LED with just a little resistor to protect the LED. And then the only other piece of this is I've got a 5 volt source. This could be any source. Um, the rating for this uh, relay is actually 250 volts AC, so at 5 amps. So uh, instead of doing this orange wire here coming from the 5 volt on the Arduino into the source pin on the relay, what I could have done is wire that up to, say, a wall outlet, and I could have that be the hot, uh, the hot input, and then on the other side of the hot input, um, that's where the power would actually come out. So you can see uh, the way I've got it wired up here, let me pull up the diagram for you. Um, this is going to be upside down to what you see uh, when I show you the physical thing, but basically You've got uh, this little thing here represents the coil. These two pins go to the coil. It doesn't matter again if you, you know, if the ground is on the right side or the left side, as long as you have a diode in between ground and positive. And then up here is the actual switch. So uh, you can see here on the right side, I've got the input source. And then on the left side, if I want it to be always on, uh, I would use the middle pin. And if I want it to be always off, I would use this top left corner pin. So that's what I'm doing currently, is I'm using the top left corner pin. And you can see when I turn it on, it turns on. Um, however, if I were to switch this, and I'll just put the video down for a second and switch it so you can see. Now, you can see that the, the LEDs are opposite. Basically, what I've done is switch the LED to that middle pin on the relay. And now, uh, when I'm turning it on, the, the LED is actually turning off. The LED on the right-hand side is actually turning off because uh, if you look here, that's the always-on pin. So when my 5-volt source is not applied, it's on. And when it is applied, it's off. And you can see the evidence there. When my, five volt, when my uh, digital pin is not applied, the LED is on. When my digital pin is applied, it's off. So again, you can get the opposite effect if I switch the relay to the other one again. Try to do this while holding it. 
Um, so there we have it. Uh, so I switched the pin again. Now it's coming to the top wire, so the always off wire. And uh, now when I turn my 5 volt source on, my LED turns on. So that's just the basics of wiring up a relay switch. Um, you can also buy more advanced uh, heavy duty switches like this relay board um, from Sane Smart. It's basically the same thing. You just apply, uh, you know, voltage to these control pins here. You input a voltage source here coming from your Arduino, and then you would use this side, uh, the relay side, just like a regular on-off switch. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.